everyone, I'm Davey. Today we are decluttering my winter coat closet, shoe closet, and just other stuff closet. This is in our narrow hallway and it is a very deep closet, which I have not looked at since we moved in two and a half years ago. I have not really taken everything out and looked at it. And during this time of being home, I thought it would be a great time to declutter, plus we're moving out of the winter season. So this is a super time to go through that seasonal um, clothing items that we don't need, that we never use this winter so that we can get rid of them. So anyways, um, give this video a thumbs up for decluttering and simplifying your life because that's what I've been trying to do in my home this season, this year of 2020. So here is the closet that I am going to tackle. Um, we do use quite a few of these coats and I wear most of those shoes, but some of these things, I don't know, I probably need to get rid of. And um, down here, we stored a vase tub in there, probably not the most sanitary. And then just like hats and stuff, I guess what's behind here? my boots so yeah we need to clean this out because it's time and being home why not do it right now so here we go so all right first of all i love to always take everything out of my closets drawers whatever i'm cleaning to assess the space and see what i've got um, yeah, I took all the coats out. I had a shoe organizer rack of my shoes only in there that I took out. Um, then we just had some bins of some sweatshirts, blazes, uh, college track and cross country attire, which he had so much of. I don't know how he got so much. And then my purses. Um, so I have everything out and I'll get to the bottom half of everything first. Uh, second, sorry, after I go through all this first. So... I go through, declutter some of that, and I have to wait for Blaze on a few things because I'm not sure exactly what he wants to get rid of, so. Okay, so I found this sentimental sweatshirt. My grandpa used to be an auctioneer. It says the sound that sells, strand auctioneering. It's a hoodie, it's like, what, probably 60 years old. It's a paint sweatshirt, it's got paint splatters on it. I don't know, do I keep it? Just for sentimental reasons, do I cut that part off? I forgot I even had it for like four years. So I don't know yet. I'm going to ask my husband what he thinks. Also, I gotta show you this. You probably saw me take this out. I will not run out of paper towel. I ordered this like two years ago and stuck it up in that closet. So, you know, if I run out of toilet paper, I've got plenty of paper towel. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going. Nevaeh is helping me, aren't you, sweetie, with her coat. So I'm gonna go through these baskets. Blaze needs to go through his um, college cross-country gear. I need to go through some purses in there. Some of the items he'll go through later, but my purses, I don't really use purses much anymore now that I'm a mom. I do a lot more diaper bags or just a little easy wallet to carry if it's just me going into a store. So I am getting rid of most of my purses except for one and I really didn't have a lot of purses to begin with but um, I'm going to keep one purse and one like cross backpack style bag. Um, so that was nice to get rid of and just throw stuff away that was in there like old hand sanitizers. Okay not hand sanitizer those are a um, desperate commodity right now. Old lotions, pens, things that didn't work anymore. Um, and then I decided to get rid of some shoes, just things I didn't need anymore that I never wore at all. Um, and since I'm no longer going to be teaching in this coming year, if you didn't know that, I am a music teacher and will be done here when school is out. Um, so I will not need to be wearing dress up shoes quite as often. So I'm going to go to some of those and then some of our winter coats that I never did wear. Some of my vests I'm going to get rid of and I just actually moved some of my clothing items to my closet because I had downsized my own closet so I could put some of those vests back in a corner. Um, and we have a, a small closet for my husband and I in our room as well. 
So um, trying to stay on a more minimal amount of clothing really helps with that, and especially outerwear too. All right, so then um, that, like you can see, this space is huge, and the shelves are not convenient to get to, but we were cleaning out the basement as, as well at the same time, and uh, my husband created some organization and storage down there but i wanted to move our board games up we love playing board games with friends and just us as a couple and we always had to go downstairs to get them and then i thought why not put them up in this closet where it's a lot more convenient and easy to see now you'll see how i organized my games and i love this tip i saw it from do it on a dime you will organize them vertically so that you can fit more instead of having them all stacked on top of each other so when you want one on the bottom they don't all just fall backwards and they even stay in their box really well vertically you'd think the pieces would fall out but they don't they stay in very nicely so that is kind of behind a few of the coats in the back um, middle shelf and bottom shelf and then um, yeah, I'll show you at the end how I did organize it. Of course, it's not Pinterest worthy. Nothing in my house is. It's just very functional and more organized in a place where my husband and I can see everything that is needed. Now in the bottom cupboard and drawer area, I had my winter dress boots, I guess you would say. And there's not really a good way to store them in here because this space is just kind of awkward. And yes, we also did store my daughter's baby bathtub, but she is now out of that because she is almost one. So we're going to store that somewhere else. Um, and so we will no longer need that in that space. But it just, we got rid of that white three-tiered plastic bin too. That just wasn't needed. It After we decluttered all our winter clothes, um, gloves and scarves and hats and other like baseball caps and stuff, we realized we really did not need that three tiered storage bin anymore at least in this space so either my husband will use it downstairs for his business organization or will donate it to somebody who needs it but um, yeah I got rid of a couple bags full of clothes which I am so thankful Blaze went through and got rid of quite a few of his track attire that he knew he'd never wear and um, being several years out of college, we're a little bit bigger than we were when he, or I should say he is a little bigger than he was when he was running every day for cross country and tap track. So some of them don't fit anymore anyways. So that's a time to get rid of things. When you know they're not gonna fit, you might as well donate them. This is all our donation stuff. Some hangers, a lot of sweatshirts, um, just some random things we found, some more hats, a lot of hats and stuff that we're not using for winter. And then this three-tiered storage. Sometimes it's hard to get rid of storage containers, but if we're not going to use it, I'll ask Blaze if he needs it for his workspace, but if we're not using it, I'll donate it. And then I think I'll get rid of this like, computer lap cooler thing. So that is quite a bit of stuff to get rid of out of that closet, which is so nice and so free to have. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so here is the upper closet. As you can see, I minimized quite a bit of our coats. <laughs> and I put our shoes, my shoes, in this one and minimized how many shoes I have in there. I do share a couple of slots. Then put some of our hats in there. I thought that was a good idea. And then some of Blaze's hats. Up on top, I have my cards. And then there is our little winter pack right there in that zip area. And the games. All right, these ones are stacked just because they're on the second shelf. But do you see this, how it works so well? You can see all your games lined up like that, just so, and you can pull it out so easily. And then in this little basket here are our smaller games that you can see like that. And then in the bottom, we have my shoes and my boots down here just stored so I should probably put something in those so they don't get floppy. And then the one bin of Blaze's track and um, cross country clothes and then just a camping backpack. So there it is, so much more 
repeatable, usable, reachable, and yes, oh yes, my two purses. My one little backpack and then purse, purse on a hanger. Thanks so much for coming along with me as I simplify our closet space and my home. Um, those are often the areas we forget to simplify, I feel like anyways, is the part where we just we walk by those spaces every day and we just kind of turn a blind eye to it because we don't want to tackle it. But during this time of being home would be a great time to declutter, simplify, make your home a place you love being in and that is super functional for you. So again, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you all are doing well. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you like this type of content, I would love to have you join my YouTube community. Anyways, I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful spring day and I will talk with you in my next video. Alright, bye everybody.